Hello beautiful souls, tarot lovers, and star seeds. Welcome back to the Hourglass. It's another day. It's another edition. So this is actually a viewer's request on why did my person ghost me? Why did this person ghost me? <clears throat> All right, you guys. So I'm a little congested. As some of you already know, I'm asthmatic. So I'm a little short of breath. I'm a little congested, but I couldn't wait any longer. I do have some... Um, tea head that I'm sipping on in the meanwhile between time so excuse me if my wheezy or my shorter breath is kind of annoying <clears throat> but pull through with me right so let's find out why did this person ghost you it's just no contact no communication it's like this person never existed they fell off the earth some of you this person blocked you or they completely um <clears throat> got off of social media they deactivated their accounts and it's like you can't get a hold of them blocks on telephones uh phone lines change of numbers as well so let's find out what's going on this is not a pick a card reading you guys so we're going to go a little bit in depth it might be triggering it might be not might also be confirmation as well so we had leadership all right <clears throat> so this person uh, no longer wanted to be supportive in your life. I feel for a lot of you, um, you may be the one that took a lot of initiative toward this person. You have may be the one that was leading the way. Um, you may also wanted this person to do the same and they just did not come forward for you. I feel like this person, they play a lot of uh, mind games or... It's almost like they try to mimic who you are as a person, as an individual. So for some of you, you really don't know this person fully. They may have been wearing a mask or they, have, they may have been very guarded with their true intentions as well. <clears throat> I feel for a lot of you, um, what you didn't know was this person, who they were hanging around with, <clears throat> they had a lot of um, opinions on you guys' connection or relationship. They were being judged by a lot of people that they hold very close or they think their opinions is very important to them. All right? That's for some of you. I wasn't ready yet. <clears throat> but again, we're going to keep that card in mind. For some of you, you're a very strong individual. And you seem to have your own mind. And this person may not be looking for someone as strong-minded as you. <clears throat> It is what it is, all right? Some of you are wondering, why did you meet this person? Now listen, sometimes we have to go through lessons to actually, be, to actually get prepared for what we actually want, all right? I know that's tough to hear at times because of the pain, because of the hurt, <clears throat> because of the, um, the setbacks. But you guys, sometimes we need to go through these lessons to get us prepared for what we actually pray or hope or wish about, all right? So even though you attracted this person in your life, you know, doesn't mean that you're a bad person or something wrong with your heart, the way that you love. It may be that it was just preparing you for the real fucking deal. Get it together. <laughs> you know, I love you all. But sometimes the truth hurts and sometimes you need to hear the truth. All right. <clears throat> Pull yourself out of that dark hole. Now, let's find out why did this person ghost you? Why did this person ghost you? All right, so we have naked. I also saw the death card, but I'm not going to pull it out. What I get from the death card just by a simple glimpse of it is that you may have been attached to this person. The both of you may be going through some type of transition at the point that you all met or at the point where you all uh, broke away or this person ghosted you. Now we have the naked card. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what I'm getting here with this person, you guys, and then we have leadership to the bottom, so I'm going to leave it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just love when my, my card does that, you know. It's, it's beautiful to me. Anyway, so you may have exposed this person in some way or some fashion. So maybe um, who you are as an individual, you shine a light on their dark spots or their blind spots or their shadow area. And it makes them very vulnerable, almost like they can't compete with your type of mental power. 
So if this person like to manipulate or play mind games, you kind of saw through that, but you still, you still dealt with the foolishness. This person may be very much um, ashamed right now or have this immense guilt on, because it's like, say for instance, they going through their whole life playing these games, not knowing, well, they seem to have, I'm, I'm picking this up intuitively, so maybe I'm tapping into their energy, all right? So <clears throat> they know that way of living is kind of like grimy, kind of shady, but they were always getting away with it. They never had to be honest. They never had to be accountable for their actions and the things that they feel and say and do. But when you came along, you, you kind of set the tone of the relationship, the connection, you kind of pushed, you kind of <clears throat> gave this person no other choice, but to step up and to be accountable, to be that man, to be that woman. And they couldn't take it. They felt inadequate. You know, even times when you guys went out, maybe the way how you dress, the way how you communicate, the conversations, you may not have noticed it because, you know, you had all of these feelings, this emotions, this love for this person that it kind of like um, blocked out this person's true identity or how they truly felt. So they may, you may have thought that this person was shy. You may have thought that this person was shy, but they weren't. They were really feeling inadequate, not enough for you, you know, not on your level. And that's why they released you. But they were so ashamed of what level they were on that they couldn't even be honest. They couldn't even tell you the truth. All right, viewer. So it's like <clears throat> you were always the initiator initiating this initiating that what do you think about this what do you think about that and they were going along with it because you know in truth you did you did give this per this person courage you ma you made them feel alive but at the end of the day they knew that they could not give you they could not measure up to what you were looking forward to but they admire you and again they were surrounded by people that kind of judge you for the way how you were f freely being yourself. So again, this person, you know, the company that they keep, they really hold their opinions close to them. <clears throat> and maybe they told them like, hey, this person is, you, you could never measure up to this person. And, you know, they became in their feelings, in their insecurities and, you know, all that negative talk telling themselves, well, I am who I am and I don't see myself changing to be on that level right now. Yeah. So, you know, you are probably like off the scales as well and they're not even halfway there. All right. This person needs to have a lot of self-care for themselves. They need to have they need to go look within. They need to go back within and find that love for themselves because, yeah, I see with the smoke hair that they really need to um, purge or they need to cleanse their spirit, their soul. They need to get in. They kind of closed off in their heart chakra as well because of a lot of trust issues and resentments. So it's like they have a lot of healing work to do that they're not even considering because, again, they're looking to the crowd. They're looking to society norms and they're judging it. It's, it's like they're comparing you with it and you're very strong. You know, some of you are sitting here like strong, you know, I'm very soft, you know, I'm very submissive. No, it's something about you. Maybe you have these original ideas, um, this originality, your, your individuality. It's, it pushes them away. You know, it, it makes them want to hide from you. And it's, it's not your fault. You know what I'm saying, you guys? Like I said, sometimes we meet this person, we, we meet these people, we attract them because they feel like being with you, you know, tagging along, piggybacking on your energy, they're going to somehow get to that, that level. But then when you ask them to pull their own weight, that's when they go. When it's time to make like serious commitments and, um, you know, really follow through, they ghost. They don't have what it takes to put in that energy. So they opt for something that's a little bit more convenient. 
that's a little bit more easy that plays that falls in line with their mind games with their mental powers all right so i see you here as the leader you are this amazonian warrior energy or spirit you're very you could be very domesticated and submiss and submissive but you have this energy where you don't fall into line with what they're playing at their angle and it's like they kind of turn their back against you some of you really need to say your truth or you want to say the truth or they know that you're expecting some type of truth or explanation but with all this green and green in their eyes they could even be very much envious of you of your energy of the way how you are and again it shines that bright light on the things that they're supposed to be they don't want to work too hard here you guys i'm sorry yeah they know that this relationship would have pushed them or um you know gave them no choice but to grow as well and they you know they just didn't see that they didn't see that part about it <clears throat> i did make some notes last night where the heck is it <laughs> i thought i put it on my desk here what did i do do i have to put this thing on pause wow so i'm gonna have to put this on pause you guys quick pause pause and pause all right yeah so this person may have had a history of manipulating people and now that you know you came into their life or however long you were in this life for in their you know in their phase of life you were it's like you were pushing them to um help or again pull their own weight and they couldn't they they couldn't do that because they didn't see themselves as even having nearly as much as you did and even if you're just living um you know you live in kind of fair it's you it's the person who you are it's your potential that's shining a light on this person's scars their wounds and they're not ready to deal with all of that their back is turned their hands is across their chest a sign of resentment a sign of resisting um whatever you have to offer so in the beginning it might have felt really good you might have give this person an ego boost made them feel alive made them feel healthy <clears throat> you, pr you probably showered a lot of support and it's like they can't even give that back to you not even the support part some of you even saw those kind of red flags but again you had all this love like you could just love you and them but it's not going to work like that all right so again i'm going to put a trigger warning that's on um on the title because i don't want anybody to you know lash out at me not today so <clears throat> we have the card i believe in us overcoming openness love communicate and reaching out so <clears throat> this may be your energy they may be picking up on the energy that you do want the truth you want some type of explanation you want to work things out and they know that they know that you want this thing to be more open and you guys could relate but i don't see they may be taking the time to really um fix themselves up to do this as well because i feel that they do think about you and i feel like the same people that they uh they had company with or this gossipy uh company they ask about you like what's going on with you i feel like you have a more clear understanding about life and this person has a little bit more shady outlook on life so you may have worked really hard to get where you're at and this person just likes to freeload all right so this card on top says i don't see the light so they they still believe that you guys could work something out but right now they're denying it because of could possibly be because they're lazy like i said they want to piggyback on somebody else's energy on somebody else's accomplishments or they don't want to work they don't want to work on their inner selves all right they could have had a lot of family issues they came from a dysfunction family and it's like they don't want to you know sometimes you meet people that just don't want to better themselves you know they all happy and proud about what you're doing in life how far you're going but secretly they don't want you to move past their comfort zone and i think that this is what's going on here 
they're very pessimistic and unaware of the light so this is someone that's um very cynical they could have been very uh, uh they could have been very critical about you you know very harsh criticism passing the little judgments and jokes or you know they just have a funny way of trying to show you who they are but you swept it under the rug like oh well, well you could grow out of that type of energy mm -mm. no they don't think that they could and you've Somehow you expose them. You make them feel embarrassed as well. And they just don't want to be around that. Oh my goodness. So we have narcissistic traits. Now, like what I was saying in the beginning, you guys, sometimes you attract these people because you're super empathic. You wear your heart on your sleeve. You're very caring. You're a very nurturing person. You feel what, where this person is wounded, where they're damaged. And it's like you can't help but to... Um, help them grow or to be assistance of their growth. But again, you're dealing with somebody that wants to piggyback. They want to supply. You have to be careful of energies like this because they put you in a scenario. It's like chess. They put you, they put you in a corner where you can't move. All right. They want to checkmate you. Some of you, this person probably got you pregnant. This could be a male or a female because we have two female energies. So even this could be same sex as well. Even though you may be a male or female, it's like the both of you are in the same feminine kind of energy. So both of you may be suppressing the truth as well. Some of you may be um, not going with the flow, wanting to control the situation as well. So it's like <clears throat> feeling unworthy, codependency. The both of you may be codependent on each other for different reasons. But with this narcissistic traits coming out here and it has warning, it's like this person is comfortable or they rather convenience over growth. And just that's just how some people are. You can't change that. You can't love them to love them enough to change them. All right. And I feel like to them you're very um dominating as well. So even though it's same sex, it's the energy that's coming out here. And with the narcissistics, you know, they have a really good way of hiding their brokenness, their emptiness, you know, their meaningless, bo boring life pursuits as well so again this person could have been mimicking you or mirroring your actions but really deep down inside they're empty mm -hmm. and they're there to exploit you and exploit you and and to me <clears throat> they feel guilty about doing that to you and this is probably why they ghost you so they have history so you guys may have history or you know, this past life, you guys may have got, may have reincarnated from a different life. So you guys may have a past life relationship or even a dynamic in a different dimension, a different universe, similar to this. So they may have left you in a past life as well. So again, this may be an experience. This might not even be a soulmate or a twin flame. This just might have been a karmic or a learning lesson experience or temptation, you guys, you know, because in this card, you're the leading person in this uh, connection, situation, relationship. You're so, you're so dynamic and they're so closed off. It's like totally opposites. Hey, huh? they don't see the world like you do. Remember I told, I was mentioning that you guys have two different viewpoints about life and love about success, about partnerships, teamwork, all right? You may have this healing energy that's going on and they don't. So it's like the super empathic is attracted to the narcissist and the narcissist is attracted to the super empath. It's classic, all right? And, you know, with the narcissistic showing up here, this person came from a very dysfunctional family. They may have even have a mother or sisters or aunts that does this and they prey on people like you. But they felt really guilty, um, immense guilt. And this is why they turned their back on you. It was too much. It's like they were sacrificing things that they didn't want to sacrifice with you. And they have these people around them, some type of negative support system. Again, it could be family that's judging you. They were basically judging you. Possibly telling this person that they're too good for you. But they know the truth Hey, with all of this green. They know the truth. This person knows the truth. And they could have been a, a coward as well. Not having the balls to tell you like, hey, this is not going to work. 
But again, they showed you subtle signs by not speaking to you, silent treatment, uh, flaking at the last minute, canceling. You know, they did this before, and that was your cue. That was your, they were trying to tell you. So we have the lovers. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like this was a heat of the moment that went on too long. It went on too long. They were very attracted to you. You were very attracted to them for many different reasons. And it's like both of you just got lost in the attraction. I feel like you guys were like very, like you guys thirst for each other. Even now, possibly this person still wants to be with you because we have, I believe in us. So even though they, they have this um, way of living, they still are hungry. They're still are open for this love. They really want to reach out. But again, it's like a sacrifice. It's like a risk they're not willing to take. For some of them, they believe that you are the one. They believe that you're the only choice. But it's like self-realization or self-healing is like not on their map right now. They're not into stuff like that. Whereas you, you are here watching all these terror readings. You may be very spiritual or you're, you're into your own spirit, your own soul guidance. They're not. They're heavily uh, codependent for their friends, their family's validation. <clears throat> yeah, so... Yeah, they're not ready to make this sacrifice and they left things up in the air because they're just not on that level to make sacrifices that's needed to pull this relationship together to, to make it healthy. Some of you, there may be violence. This person may own an illegal weapon or they feel like violence may occur. So we have the empress. You may be the empress. They may be seeing you as the empress, as ever flowing, as someone that's never stuck for too long. You could bounce back really easy. You dress really nice. Like I'm saying, all of these types of things, they were attracted to you in the beginning, but it's very intimidating to them now because, you know, they may have started a business, you know, doing a lot of different things because you're, you were their muse. They were heavily influenced by you. But again, it was like a chess game. It was just like, I want to one-up you. or, um, And that's coming from some type of jealousy. You know, you have something that they want, that they want to be like. And it's like, <clears throat> two of pentacles, they were very unstable. They were very unstable, probably with money, finances, with um, even committing to projects. S things like that, it's like they would always give up or... They would need this extra um, support, and if they don't, they fall off of it. And it was just, it was just too many things that was incomplete around this person. This person may have went back to school or picked up a trade because you were doing it as well. So again, the people around them was noticing them changing, but some of them may not have realized it was because of you. And then when you guys started to go through, you know, really serious um, relationship issues, they kind of uh spill the beans and their friends and family was like oh why you why you deciding to go doing you doing too much for this person and and then it started to influence them like yeah you know maybe i am who i am and i can't be who this person wants me to be so then they stopped seeing the light or they never did see the light and this company confirmed it so they was you know back and forth in and out your life uh telling you that they have things to do People to see, they may have been traveling a lot as well, or they telling you that they were traveling a lot. They could have been telling you this, but then they have an affair with someone that's more on their grounds, someone that plays their games, somebody that they have history with. But again, this is reoccurring from a different life. So this person is here to teach you a lesson to prepare you for something that's better. <clears throat> this could be... Um, a mother of their children. This could even be their mother. Like I said, they have a strong feminine influence that's influencing their um their thoughts, their decisions with you. And you're guarded now. You know, it's like you're tired of that shit and you're ready to free yourself from the bullshit. We have the Queen of Cups. So again, a lot of openness here with the Queen of Cups. 
I feel like they're heavily programmed and they want to break out. It's like they know that they are uh, being controlled or programmed by a, a heavy female influence. So they may be talking to their exes, you know, exes that can't seem to leave them alone, who they backtrack on, again, to piggyback on their energy. You know, they might call it, oh, I'm getting others' opinions on a situation, but it, they're piggybacking on their energy because they fall back on people that they have dismissed because they can't seem to get along with them either. This person is super emotional right now. And you may be picking up on their energy that they're super emotional. It's like they're out of control emotionally. Or emotions make them uncomfortable. Some of you, they know you still want the relationship and they can't understand why. They don't understand why do you still want this when they did what they did. We have the Three of Swords. The Ace of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. So there's definitely a third party. It may not be romantic. It may be just family that they're choosing over this relationship, this connection, this situationship. It's like they're having two different, um, very strong emotions. So it's like they want to return home. They want to celebrate this union with you. They could possibly want to marry you or they see themselves as as you, they see you as a uh, marriage material, but it's like <clears throat> the truth is hurting this person or the truth is hurting you. So it's like the both of you want to communicate, want to reach out, but you guys are very disappointed in each other. There may also be a baby here or they're starting, they're having a new beginning with someone else. And this is the truth that they need to tell you. But it's like they may want, they may have talked to you about threesomes. You know, with narcissistics or narcissist, whatever you want to, however you want to pronounce it. With narcissistic people, they tend to want three th threesomes a lot. I'm not against having threesomes to each his own. But I feel like they talk about those things to see if you're willing to have an open relationship with others. With being comfortable with them being with other people. And with you being in this leadership energy, <clears throat> they know that they can't pull that with you. So, you know, they may have been wearing a full mask here, going along with what you wanted to build with them. But it's like the truth needs to be spoken. Some of you may have gotten an aha moment about this person and you kind of, you kind of heart, give you a heartbreak. Eh? All right. It's a lot of swords. It's a lot of things people want to say. The truth people want to convey here about this four of one's energy. So all of the energies are out here. But, you know, in the beginning, I did see Gemini. We did see some Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. We saw Libra, Taurus with the Empress, Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. More Libra energy with the three of swords. Ace of swords could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Three of pentacles could be... Um, who is that? That could be the Capricorn energy. And then the four of wands could be, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, could be, um, Aries. <clears throat> yeah, but, um, it's kind of like you guys are guarded from each other because of the truth, but they're still not. It's not communicating the truth, so it's like a bunch of assumptions here. But somebody freed themselves from um, some type of mental uh, anguish as well. So that may be you. Like you're just now um, gaining some type of peace of mind. You're just now adjusting to this person's absence. And they may very much be feeling that because narcissistic, if they're narcissistic, they come from a very dysfunctional family where they were groomed to be this way. So they could actually pick up the energy when you're moving on. So this person may want to double back or make that Yui to exploit you, to make sure that you're not, as, not happy because they're not happy. And that's when you need to put on your um, detective cap with the Ace of Swords and get the truth out of them. Make sure you're asking the correct questions if they do decide to make that Yui. You know, let them know that you're going to charge extra for coming back around, let them know it's not going to be no second, third, fourth chance for any union or coming back home because I feel like 
they want to come back home, but they're still working with other people. They're still collaborating, networking, sharing energies with somebody here. King of Cups. So, you know, you guys are definitely feeling each other. There's, there's Queen of Cups and King of Cups, but it's just that you're in this Empress energy. Some of you are very beautiful, and I'm not talking about physical features. You're, you're, who you are as a person is very beautiful. You love kids. <clears throat> you could make anything come to life, and you made this, you gave this person a lot of life. You gave them extra life force, and it's like, with the Three of Pentacles, they may be wanting something very open with you. They don't want too, too much of exclusiveness. They don't want to be... They want to share your emotions, but it's like they want to share that with other people as well. Wherever they're at, they may be acting like they're happy, but deep down inside, they have a lot of guilt and shame. Somebody here had a baby or a new beginning with someone else, and they're feeling guilty in that situation because they're not telling the truth to this person either. So it's like they're torn with the lovers between you and this new beginning with someone else. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be with family as well. They could very much be lying to their family about how they truly feel about you. But again, they have been groomed to be this, this type of um, narc. Very dysfunctional person. And you may be a super empathic person that have grown out of situations like that. And you kind of have this um, need to show others that they could do the same. But not everybody's on that page of wanting to grow up. And like I always say, you cannot love somebody into growth, you know? And there's a lot of symbols that's talking about self-realization, growth, evolving, but it's in the back. It's like something that's out of focus, out of touch with this person. So you, both of you have two different type of goals in life and purposes. And it's like you're not meeting in the middle. That's why we have, I don't see the light. And again, you may have reincarnated from a different universe or dimension with the same situation with this person. Emotions, they have a lot of it, but they wasn't taught to, to express it properly or in a healthy way. And you have shown that to them. And this is why they feel exposed. They could even be um, feeling very shitty about the family members as well. Looking at them sideways now, like really acknowledging how dysfunctional or unhealthy or toxic their family really is how their life truly is so you know they have a lot of fake love around them or they they only know a lot of fake love and that's the truth you know but somebody wants to put an action here and i feel it's you for some of you it's like you're blocked you cut that shit away it's done but i have no um and then cards here. I just feel um, that it's not telling me if it's over or not. It's just showing me that um, this is why they ghost you. This is the reason why they could not um, tell you the truth here. And you hold the truth. It's like you are a person that could handle the truth. The truth actually turns you on. But to them, because of how they were groomed, no, it's like a weakness because, again, it's a lot of manipulation mind game. So they use, they, mean, they manipulate folks' weaknesses. So like I said, you guys are very opposite. Anyway, let's get some guidance here from your ancestors, your guides, your way showers, whatever you uh, recognize them as. So it's like your guys are still connected either emotionally or intuitively. Like I said, they could pick up when you are um, defensive. Somehow, they are tapped into your energy still, you guys. They may even meditate about it. Sometimes you bust into tears or um, you could hear their voice. And that's because they're still tethering off your energy. So look into aura um, healing as well. Look into cord attachments because there's still an attachment here energetically memories all right so <laughs> you guys have a lot of memories together the things that you wrote this person i feel like they still hold on to it they still read it so it's like wherever they're at they're not doing too well but it's like they fall back on your energy your letters the things that you, you used to say 
to support them to keep going in whatever situation that they're in. Interesting. Interesting. So they took with them the memories of you. Hmm. The happier moments. And where you, where some of you may be left heartbroken and distraught, like you feel pain. They're taking that with them to fuel them to move forward. Wow. Mm hmm. Because like I said, if they're narcissistic, narcissistic, they're going to leave you. I can't even get that thing off my tongue. They're going to leave you broken while they keep moving forward to the next person, to the next supplier. Somebody in their family taught them that. And I feel it's a feminine energy, whether it's a sister, an auntie, a mother. Somebody taught them how to be this way. And in society, they're friends. They're picking people the same. It's like they're repeating the same scenarios with different characters. A lot of yellow, this person is very fearful. They could be a coward. Coward meaning they don't stand up for themselves. They don't uh, wrong, right their wrongs. They just dip. They ghost you. Uh, you could have a very serious conversation or wanting to make a, a very important decision and they, they don't show up. And then we have let go. All right, let me read it to you. <clears throat> it says, once you let go of the outcome, you'll be more able to release the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit. As we have only the best intentions at heart and will do everything in our power to protect you. So it's time to release the emotional um, constraints that you have with this person. Release the outcome, release any assumptions that you're having, release this overanalyzing this person's words and actions, release the memories, release the memories. Oh my gosh. It's like my heart is torn because I could feel how much respect and how proud and um, how much you were supporting this person to, you know, live up and it just didn't work. And this person, I could tell you, feels guilty. They may be feeling guilty now that you're um, getting back to yourself and you're moving forward. You guys may be dating. Um, they may even see, they may be having friends check up on you or they're seeing you somewhere. They're, somehow they're keeping tabs on you. And again, if you guys are connected because you're showing up as the king and queen um, of cups. So this person is tethered into your emotions. They're tethered in by memories. So they know you still think about them. They know you still care. They still seem to care about you. But again, they turn their back. They rather the old way of doing things. They rather the convenient way of doing things. And with you, you know, you're moving forward in life. You're ever changing. You bring life to and it's like they can't do that. They want to. They would like to be that way, but they just are very lazy. And they're in denial about the things that has wound them in the past could even be in denial of the family members that they have. I feel like this person have kids as well. They may have two or more kids, two or more baby mothers, baby fathers, and they're in denial about the situations between those people as well. If they don't have any kids, they do had, they did have other failed relationships that they're in denial about the part that they played for that failure. And with you, again, you shine that light. Your, your truth of who you are, your individuality, shines the light on this person's um, shortcomings. And they don't want to deal with that. Be proud. So this is, a, this is a message to you from your guys. And, it's, and it says, <clears throat> it's time to celebrate all that you, that you achieved, all that you are, and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you have achieved and to be proud. So if you guys are still heartbroken with the three of swords, with the ace of swords, the truth kind of like took a toll on your confidence, your self-esteem, it's time to let it go. Now, I know that's easy said than done. And when you're ready, you're going to let go. But you have to be ready. You have to be willing to make that commitment because if it's breakup, it's, if it's ghosting, that's not a relationship. So even though you're feeling them intuitively, emotionally, it's not a relationship. This person is unavailable. They're not showing up for you when you need support. There's a candle here for hope, for faith. 
as well. You are the key hey, to unlocking yourself, to releasing yourself from this emotional constraint. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. Again, you guys, I hope that you did enjoy the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, comment, comment, comment. Let's keep these free, amazing readings going. If you're interested in a personal reading or you feel compelled to contribute to the Hourglass channel, all of the details are in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in another video. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.